Hello, it's Sarah and Kiwi. Hi, Kiwi. She's been full of herself. This, I think spring makes her all hormonal and stuff, right? Aren't you bossy? You've been so bossy. Um, so yeah, it's Kiwi. She's a conure, a green cheek conure. Anywho, so hi guys. Um, I don't know when the last time I posted was. I'm probably going to be working on the April art journal page after this video. I'm going to work on some things. I have some ideas. I was very inspired by my run, my run walk that I just did, seeing all the trees blooming and all the springtime color, <clears throat> excuse me, color out there. So, um, but I wanted to just tell you a little bit about where I've been, what I've been up to. I haven't been posting, although I did just get a graphic 45, just the 8x8 paper pad, the Enchanted Forest. Um, I love that genre, castles and queens and kings and dragons. I love it. So I just wanted to, I saw it and it was, it was on Amazon. So anyway, I've been cut, fussy cutting and I'll probably come back with a video about that. But I want to get the um, April, because time is flying by. What is the date? It's the 24th already. Um, April 24th. And it's kind of cloudy and rainy today, but I got my run in. So I wanted to talk to you guys about what I've been up to. And I'm, I'm curious to see uh, who would support me doing maybe another. And see, this is quite a commitment, but I like to be inspirational. That's something I really enjoy. Um, so I was wondering if I did uh, a weekly video on my... Um, exercise progress, my weight loss progress, because I've been telling, so see, I share little bits of myself with you guys along the way in, on my crafting journey, and I've been told, you know, um, this is a crafty channel, don't share that. Well, I'm going to put non-crafty, uh, what I've been up to, and then it's up to you. You turn it off if you don't want to know that stuff. Uh, but I think sometimes it can be inspirational for other people to hear what people are going through. Maybe something that you would never expect to think that someone's going through. Um, so for me, for example, well, I, I've, as of like last summer, I mentioned and I did the, um, the uh, my, one of my biggest non-crafty videos about addiction. And um, that's still happening. And we're gonna, I'm gonna keep it like just about me. Because I don't think it's fair to, uh, like my husband's going through it too, but he doesn't want me to share his process. And my son, it's my son. So he's dealing with it in his own way and stuff. But it is still very much uh, happening. Um, so I wonder, you know, those of you who have this in your life, I want to be able to share that it's okay. You're, it's not you. You know, I felt crazy over the years because of it. And um, so I'm curious if you guys think that is uh, something you'd like to see, if it's helpful. Also, my health, just about uh, what I'm trying to do. I'm going to turn 52. I'm sorry, 53. I'm turning 53 in May, on May 19th. And um, that's fine. I don't mind. That's, that's okay with me. Uh, it's just that, you know, sometimes life throws you curveballs and you forget to take care of yourself. And as we get older, it's even more important, you know, to just focus on you for one hour a day at least. I mean, and by that I mean, think about what's good for you. You know, it, watch a funny movie. I've mentioned all this stuff before. You know what you like. Go get a massage, get a pedicure. But also, eating right and exercise are very important. And I know, you know, it's, we all know. We all know this. Um, <clears throat> but food is such a problem in this country. And I know we all, I love food too. You know, I, my neighbor and I, he has pancreatitis right now and he's really scared and you know he's probably a little old he's probably about 57 worked his whole life and men especially they don't go to the doctors like women do but you know this snuck up on him and he's so sick and it's horrible and he's scared you know and he's a sweets eater but 
he loves Danish and all the sugar and he drinks like, well, anyway, that's see, I'm outing someone else. But you see, the thing is, uh, I get nervous because I have a husband who I love very much and he, f he focuses on everyone else. He's always there for everyone else, to fix everyone else, to help everyone else. And if you don't take that time for yourself, pretty soon you won't be there for anyone else. So that's what we're kind of coming to find out. And I think what's happening with my son is playing into that because when you love someone so much and you want to help them, but you can't because we have no control over this. We only can control ourselves. Um, he's going to do what he does. It's There's nothing we can do about it, good or bad, like it or not, that's the facts. And so what we've, what we've decided to do is focus on ourselves. It's hard and it hurts, but by just getting up and going for a walk, you know, you get those endorphins going, right, Kiwi? And, you know, and I'm, I'm doing Herbalife right now, which I talked to you guys a little bit about. These, this is a protein shake diet, and I've lost like 12 pounds. And see, that's the thing. I mean, yeah, I love losing weight. Don't get me wrong. And people, people would look at me all my life. I'm never the one they look at and think you need to lose weight. I looked fine. You know what I mean? Like even as, a, as an overweight person for myself, um, but I just base it on me, what I know about my body. Um, and so it feels good. And you move better. And I have a nine-year-old granddaughter. And I want to be able to go and enjoy outdoor activities with her, you know. And anywho, what I'm curious about then is if you guys feel like I can inspire you to be more active or to take care of like to just do a snack tip we can share together I would love it if you um, had ideas for me because right now I'm kind of eating the same old snacks every day uh, and certain things like bananas give me tummy aches and different things like that like I think we could share what works for us and what doesn't. And listen, if you're 100 pounds overweight, I've also joined the Run to the Best You crew. So I do meet up with people once a week on Thursdays. That's great motivation. I also joined um, the uh, Weight Loss Challenge. This, this It's for three months, so 12 weeks, right? And I mean, I'm not going to win. I mean, yeah, there's like a little prize and stuff. But it's more about the nutrition, the inspiration, and, and Herbalife does want to sell you stuff. That's, don't get it twisted. That's what they want to do. But, excuse me, I take vitamins now, which I hadn't been. And, I mean, it's just, so anywho, uh, I haven't been making crafting videos. My channel is called My Serenity Crafts. This is what makes me happy. Crafts, yeah, crafts. Listen, we're crafting our lives every single day. We go out there in the world. You know, I, I posted a video recently about um, a hypothetical, supposedly, incident that I had with someone who kind of attacked me. And I almost quit the run group, but I didn't. And you guys, I took the video down, those of you who are wondering, because I didn't want to be, I'm not causing drama, and I don't want to, I just wanted to hear for, oh, there's a big shadow. I don't know what that was. Look, wait, where'd it go? Because I have my setup right over me. Maybe that's it. Anywho, um, I like to get feedback from you guys because, and then, of course, I got a comment saying, well, why are you asking people you've never met and they're trolls and this and that? Well, I can tell a troll from a not troll, um, you know, and delete, they're gone. It's not that hard. So my main thing is to ask you guys if this is helpful for you to hear just, and I mean, I don't know a lot. I'm learning along the way. And, but mainly I just want to inspire you. If I just say, well, I went for my run and listen, I run so slow. I am, so I have asthma. I've always had asthma and I do take my inhalers and stuff. And so um, I do preventative things for it. But um, I never thought I could run and I can. And like, you can too. You just have to try. You never know, right? And oh, I just we just got our new eye watches, which I mean, this is because we're an eye family, 
we're an iPhone family. My husband loves technology. Um, but yeah, so I just got this and it tracks your, your fitness. And for him, it's been fantastic because it gives you reminders to stand up because Joe works in an office atmosphere. And so, you know, it's reminding him to breathe, to just get up and breathe and relax and just walk. And so he walks to the cafeteria now, you know what I mean? Like just simple things that we don't think about because he's so sidetracked by what's going on with Matt. Oh, with my son <clears throat> or, you know, whatever type of stuff you're going through in your life. Um, you know, life is stressful. It's, it's hard to be, to take that time for ourselves. Anyway, this is going kind of long, but mainly I just wanted to check in and tell you guys, you know, you're fantastic. I am so thankful that I, that I started this channel, that I've now, it's been four years, I think, that I've been doing this. Um, and yeah, I think it's four years this month. I think so. Uh, and it's been fantastic the whole time. I didn't know what I was doing when I first started. And uh, I think I know what I'm doing now. I just am being me. And I'm just sharing my inspiration, um, my excitement over different things. And listen, I don't want to bring the drama. We all have bad days. But it has to do with what you say to yourself to to get around that. You don't have to dwell on negativity. There's a lot of good positivity, like I tell you. Delete that stuff on your Facebook page. Don't listen to the drama about politics. And, you know, it's good to be informed. And I try to stay informed. But I'm not, you don't get involved in it, you know. Um there's too many positive things to think about in the world. And I know we don't feel good, but focus on what does feel good, right? Focus on, <clears throat> anywho, I'm not going to go into it, but I think you, you all know what I mean. And um, all right, so that's it for now. I want to just, uh, I'm going to get to work on um, our April art journal page. And I'm going to come to you guys that this week with that. And I'm probably going to do something with this uh, gorgeous paper that I got. The um, It's called Enchanted Forest by Graphic 45, which is a paper line. One of the very first paper lines that really got me excited when I first started doing paper crafting. So I'll definitely be back with that. Um, all right, you guys, and some polymer clay. Trust me, like I've taken all the stained glass stuff, put it away. I think the polymer clay is coming out. I've been thinking about, um, see, I could just go on and on, but uh, I have some ideas. This is this is one of my favorites, applique technique. This is on an Altoid tin, and I love it. So, all right, you guys, um, I hope everyone has a really great day, and thanks for watching.